Hello everyone, Death Stimulator here, bringing you some more naval action. Today, uh, it's a slightly uneven matchup between myself in a navy brig and Nancy No Bullets in a yacht. We'll see how they go in this matchup, but this will probably be a short video. I'm immediately going to start changing over my left hand side to a double shot, leaving my right side on ball so I can get some medium shots in as I approach. Uh, I'm going to be attempting to close the gap and uh, basically abuse my ship's stronger hull strength and better guns in uh, a more close quarters fight. Uh, being the smaller, more maneuverable ship, they're probably likely going to try and sit on my tail and just fire shots all through my ship. And they have the potential to do a lot of damage. see how it goes. They're attempting to get downwind of me. In order to make that a little bit easier for them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my speed, go stationary and just start opening fire with my right side. I should be able to get in range with the six pound guns. They're not long guns, but uh, at this point it should make a big difference. Firstly, I'm going to fire off a ranging shot. See how that works out. They're pretty much about right. I just need to get my uh, A little disappointed that one fell so short. It can be hard to line people up appropriately sometimes, and I'm still not very good at shooting, but it's something I'm trying to work on. And leading. My leading is terrible. A minor hit. I was not expecting the shot to come from that section of my ship. I really need to pick up my shots because they are out shooting me quite significantly. Myself there, I didn't really account for his movements. As you can see, his uh, keeping his distance is not exactly helping him. Situation. I just have more guns, uh, more shots. Keeping myself stationary isn't a huge disadvantage to me. Um, I, am, I am missing the odd shot. It's, it's made up for by the fact that I do have the extra guns. those ones. It's <laughs> way too far forward. It should be a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Nice low one into the uh, waterline there. Part of the uh, part of the biggest skill I feel with guns is knowing which gun is actually scheduled to fire. Uh, 
certainly it's one thing that needs to be kept track of and, and people who are better at the game than I am do so and use it to great effect. Uh, as it will just slightly affect where the shot travels in the, in the arc of fire. sure how the uh, damage assignment actually works, whether it is heavily position based or uh, simply, you know, it hit X front and it hit the front the side or the rear of the ship, which will do this amount of damage uh, if waterline takes into, is taken into account at all, stuff, stuff, stuff like that. I'm going to change up my right side to double shot. So I can do a bit more damage now they've come in close. See what I'll do is position myself. I'll leave the right side as ball and try to get position on my left side for the double shot. Let's see if we can get a decent shot off here with the Not so much. That's all right. Let's see if we can get ourselves turned around more rapidly with the wind. work out so well I made the mistake of switching up my right hand side ammo back to uh, now he's in a slightly annoying position being directly behind me but that's alright Hopefully I can uh, get this gun loaded in time. Let's switch up to my gun crew. The only real downside to versing a much lighter ship is that it does become very tedious. Their chance of victory is incredibly slim. 
fact that they can also prolong the games to a significant degree. Which is fine. That's the objective, right? Is to well, in this mode it's essentially to do as much damage as possible. Unfortunately, uh, the fact he has done such a good job on disabling my rudder is going to have a big impact on my ability to get him in sight. As it were. Two terrible shots on my part. I will have to just put in some effort and actually uh, work on manoeuvring the ship with my sails predominantly. Probably going to sit downwind of me now and just wait uh, for an opportunity. That's much harder for my ship to go against the wind due to the sails it's got. We'll see. I may have to. I may have to change up my sails to get in range of wind. Uh, my shot, rather, I should say. So at the moment I probably will Hopefully give me a little bit of a boost to my accuracy. Just have to make sure I turn ahead of him. This is very much where I want to be in terms of this fight. Let's just get my distance from him so he can't get any close shots on me. Unfortunately, because I will be remaining stationary, I need to balance uh, where I'm hitting him, uh, where I'm aiming, sort of thing, continuously. Can I 
gonna guess that he must be pulling away from me then, and I'm just looking at looking at his ship wrong in the angle. Must be. Mind you, that looks like uh, he's done for. I hadn't realised he'd used all his repair kits yet. Still, good effort on his part. He uh, had me on the ropes there for a little bit. I had to use the repair kit in order to stay afloat. This has been Death Stimulator, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider liking, commenting, favouriting, or subscribing, as your support means the world to me, and I'll see you next time.